Hi there. My name is Randy Abuna. You may recognize me from publications such as the ever so popular Ethics in Industrial Robotics. However, I'm here to speak to you today about the exciting field of 3D point cloud data. And without further ado, welcome to our presentation on transforming LiDAR data into 3D models. But before we get too far in depth, I would like to take this time and opportunity to introduce my exceptionally talented colleagues and peers, our team who worked so tirelessly on this specific project. Nia Hariri, Imani Mokri, and Jordan Person. Please enjoy. Thank you. Today, we will unveil an advanced Python pipeline designed to process intricate 3D point cloud data. This data, diligently gathered by drones surveying a modest tree speckled landscape, undergoes a series of sophisticated techniques to morph from raw LiDAR data into a fully realized 3D mesh model. Our pipeline intertwines various techniques, inclusive of DV scan clustering to segregate data, Poisson surface reconstruction to build a coherent model, voxel downsampling for data efficiency, and statistical outlier removal to enhance data purity. The end result is a comprehensive, usable 3D mesh model that brings the landscape to life, demonstrating the tangible potential of our refined data processing approach. Our process harnesses the power of dbscan algorithm to discern and categorize data points according to their spatial distribution. This clustering mechanism enables the identification of distinct entities, such as individual trees within the landscape. Following this stage, the Poisson surface reconstruction technique steps in, weaving these clustered data points into a tangible three-dimensional mesh model. This model gives form to the previously abstract concept of tree-filled landscapes, creating a more concrete representation that's accessible and easy to understand. Thus, our methodologies marries cutting-edge algorithms with the rich complexity of natural landscapes, turning raw data into visual, valuable insights. As demonstrated in the snippet of code, we employ statistical outlier removal and voxel downsampling as key tools for enhancing data quality. These techniques are vital for scrubbing away noise and shrinking the size of the data set, enabling us to extract meaningful information from data potentially corrupted by drone instability or adverse weather conditions. Through these processes, we can ensure our models are based on the cleanest, most precise data, allowing for the most accurate 3D visualization possible. This refinement process underscores our commitment to data integrity and the production of reliable and 3D models. Our pipeline truly distinguishes itself with a streamlined approach that transitions effortlessly from the initial ingestion of raw drone data to the final output of a noise-reduced, tangible 3D mesh model. By weaving together all of these intricate processes into a single coherent workflow, we deliver an all-encompassing solution for 3D point cloud data processing. In essence, our pipeline serves as a one-stop shop for efficient, and an effective transformation of raw data into a usable 3D model. While our current pipeline provides a robust method for processing 3D point cloud data, the need for further validation remains essential. We propose conducting comparative studies with other existing methodologies. This would not only serve to confirm the effectiveness of our pipeline, but could also uncover areas for improvement. This would ensure that we remain at the cutting edge of this technology. In our pursuit for continual improvement, we believe in leveraging the flexibility of our Python-based pipeline. Specifically, we envision adapting our pipeline to accommodate different types of 3D data, including data gathered from different types of LiDAR systems, 
or even other data acquisition methods such as urban planning, construction, archaeology, and many more. Furthermore, as we continue to gain deeper insight into the complexities of 3D data processing, we are motivated to include additional processing steps to enhance the functionality and usability of our pipeline. For instance, we can introduce machine learning algorithms to automatically identify and classify features within the landscape, or we can integrate techniques to deal with specific challenges like multiple returns from LiDAR systems or the effects of varying atmosphere conditions. The coding process and methodology. The last format file is commonly used to store LiDAR data. This is information about the Earth's surface collected using lasers. The first part of the code opens the file to access the data inside. You can think of this step as like opening a book and reading your first page. Furthermore, we extract X, Y, and Z coordinates, and this is going to be the LiDAR data, including information about the position of each point scanned on the Earth's surface. This position is recorded as X, Y, and Z, and in this step, we're collecting these coordinates for each point and arranging them in a specific way so that it's easier to work with much later. You can imagine this has taken down the address of all the points that the laser has scanned. Furthermore, we're creating the point cloud object, and the point cloud is a large collection of points in a three-dimensional space. This step is essential to creating a container for all the coordinates we've just extracted. Imagine you've gathered lots of individual pieces of information and now you're putting them all together into a single box for access later. The downsampling point cloud is a step about reducing the amount of data we physically deal with. Each point in the cloud, the point cloud represents a tiny part of the Earth's surface. When we have millions or billions of points, that's a lot of data. By downsampling, we create a smaller, more manageable version of our point cloud data that gives us a good overall picture of the data. It's like creating a sketch or an outline of a detailed picture. And our estimating normals for the point cloud data is essentially uh, each point in a cloud data has a normal, an imagery line that stands straight up from the point perpendicular to the surface uh, calculating these normals helps us understand the shape and the structure of the object we're studying. You can think of this step as figuring out pretty much which way is up. In our data processing pipeline, we conduct normal estimation, a process of identifying the orientation of points in our 3D point cloud data. However, drone collected data can often have noise unwanted or irrelevant data points, and outliers, which are points that significantly differ from others. These elements may distort our understanding of the point cloud's structure and consequently, the 3D model that we aim to build. We can tackle this issue with pre-processing steps like outlier removal to discard irregular data points, ensuring a more accurate data set. We might also employ robust statistical methods, which are designed to work effectively in the presence of anomalies. These methods could help us derive more reliable insight from our data, contributing to the creation of a higher quality 3D model. Future improvements in these areas could significantly help enhance data processing efficacy. We use the dbSCAN algorithm to group closely packed data points revealing separate structures within our 3D point cloud data. Then the RANSAC algorithm comes into play, dividing the point cloud data into different planes, which further refines the organization of the data. While RANSAC effectively handles outliers, challenges can arise from high levels of noise or incorrect model assumptions. Nonetheless, these techniques help transform a chaotic cloud of points 
into a neatly organized structure. In the culmination of our pipeline, we deploy the Poisson Surface Reconstruction Algorithm. This sophisticated tool bridges the gap between individual points, creating a unified three-dimensional surface akin to draping a cloth over a series of posts. The result is a richly detailed, fully integrated 3D mesh model. The final transformation transforms our previously scattered point cloud data into intelligible and usable form, providing a tangible representation of our captured landscape. In conclusion, our Python-based pipeline offers an integrated solution to transform drone-collected LiDAR data into usable 3D mesh models, marking a substantial achievement in the field of forestry and landscape mapping. Future enhancements are also envisioned to improve its versatility and adaptability. Thank you.